the first thing that happened in the church of Antioch was. I'm going to begin to read to you at verse 22. I'm going to read down to the first part of verse 26. The Bible says news of this reached the church in Jerusalem and they sent Barnabas to Antioch. When he arrived and saw the grace of God and what God had done, he was glad and encouraged all of them to remain true to the Lord with all their heart. He was a good man, full of the Holy Spirit and faith, and a great number of people were brought to the Lord. Then Barnabas went to Tarsus to look for Saul. And when he found him, he brought him to Antioch. So for a whole year, Barnabas and Saul met with the church and taught a great number of people. Now that's the first thing the, church, the Bible says about the church at Antioch. Uh, it was an equipping church. It was a church that was committed to teaching the word of God and building people up in the faith. As I, as I read those verses, I wrote down five words in my notes about how this church was an equipping church. Number one, they were passionate about equipping people. Not the Bible says when the church at Jerusalem heard that Antioch had come to faith, they sent Barnabas because they wanted to equip the believers. Not the Bible says that when Barnabas came to Antioch, he encouraged the believers to remain true to the Lord Jesus Christ and he strengthened them in their walk of faith. You see, it's a wonderful thing to be able to have these grand sobas when we can come together. It's, it's a wonderful thing to be able to have revival meetings and crusades in different villages. But nothing will change the Garo church until the Garo people have a passion that every boy, girl, woman, man in the church will be strengthened in their walk of faith. You, you see the Bible says the moment people in Antioch came to faith the church in Jerusalem sent Barnabas and they were discipling and they were building up people in the faith. They 